Okay, I'm back after having put the shims in. So I just thought I would show you right quick what I did. These new, these new pieces and shims are different than the, uh, what you'll see in the manual and what I've used before. So yeah, the big shims, you know, are smaller at this end. If you get, if you get these new ones, if you've got the old ones, that won't be, they show that they go to the corner right here. But again, you can see here, you can see the layers. So this is the boot cow layer. This is the firewall next. And then that's the small shim inside. And then this is the big one on the outside. Now, like I say in the forum piece, the manual says to start at the bottom and come up. Later, you'll have to get in here and cut the ends of this. I don't. What I did is the same thing with the boot cow. I just start up here and I put um, the small shim you can see inside and the big shim. And I literally just take about, you, have, you already have your clamps in place. So I take about this many clamps off from here to about here, take those off. Then you can take those shims and put, just set them in place. And then it, here they'll fit up where they should go. Down here, you'll just leave them on the inside of the clamps. Okay, so you're not messing with it. Okay, and then start at the top and you wanna just take the shim and this big shim, let's see if I can see it over here. So the big shim is gonna go all the way against the firewall, okay? If you don't get it against the firewall, what'll happen is as you're looking at it, like here, if you don't get it all the way against the firewall, sometimes it might bow out. So you don't want it to bow out and bow up because remember, we're gonna put the cowl over this later. So you wanna have it make sure as you're going along, you push the big one, make sure it's pushed all the way in. And then the small shim, remember again, that's the spacer. So later when our cowl comes up here, see it's gonna have the thickness of that shim that's in there and the boot cowl. So it'll come up and meet flush with the edge here. So that's the purpose of that inside shim. So just push them up in there. Again, the notch on the big one goes up to this side and inboard, that little notch that's on the big, big shim. Then the little shim, we match it up to it. We put a dot and the arrow that dots up here and the arrow's pointing that way. And we're just gonna come around. And what I do then after I take six or eight of these clamps off about, again, about this much, that gives you plenty of room then where that shim, both of those shims, just take them both at the same time, put them up there and come around and you can just wrap them around here. Then come up here and as you start, I come down here and take the next clamp off and put it here then take the next clamp off and put it here and just keep working that way you'll have you know a foot or 16 inches or something or whatever work area as you go around so take these off start them as you come along take one off put it there so instead of putting these back on you don't you just take these and keep moving down then at the end you'll take the ones that you took on the top and then put them back down the bottom now i want to correct what i said earlier in the video is that i said don't put the uh firewall last two rivets in here i was i was getting mixed up um with the uh, firewall uh, uh angle mount to the boot cow you're not going to put these in right now so i went back and i added when i saw that i'd made that mistake so yes you will put all of the rivets in now including these two it's these two here you know from the boot cow end that we don't want to do right now especially if you get these new shims the old shims did not go over this area they stopped right here at this angle as you can see in the manual they were full size and they stopped right here so this is something new that they've done and it extends all the way out and so eventually i'm going to drill you know all three of these and put a rivet through all you know three of these right here pieces right here on both sides and i've got notes in my post not to do that yet not to put this one in until we get this hatch cover and all in even though the manual says put these two in right away so do not put these two in like the manual says right now so that's where we're at right now you can see the important part is that as you go around i take a small screwdriver and you want the important part is to make sure that that shim inside there it doesn't really make a difference if it's not perfectly flush here. Okay, you can see how far back it is. Just that far inch is barely in on just a little bit right here, which is fine. There's plenty of room for this rivet to go down through and attach it all. 
What's not good is if the, if that shim comes out this way, like where the end of the screwdriver is. Again, that's the shim that's the boot that the cowl is going to come up and fit to. So if you've got that shim sticking out here a little ways, then when you go to put your cowl on later, it's going to hit right here, and you're going to have this gap. So just go around before you do it, making sure that you don't have any of that little shim sticking out anywhere. And of course, making sure your firewall uh, angles. See, I'm still looking back up in here. See where my screwdriver, I'm looking back up in here, making sure my firewall is, is out, not pushed in anywhere. And it should be fine if you've already checked it before. Everything should be good. And if it is good and the boot cow is good, when you put these shims in, they should just slide right in perfect. This. The big one again goes all the way against the firewall against the firewall he, firewall here and then the small one will do the same thing it'll go up against the firewall and it should be just perfect so double check all the way around that there's none of that shim is showing and then what we're going to do is start our drilling and you'll see in my forum post how i talk about how they he says come up about seven holes so you come up about seven from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So somewhere up in here, start your first one, put that one in, and then we're gonna work down and then turn right around and work back up. And I'll show you as I go, I'll come back and try to do one when I'm actually installing one and show you that you, what you wanna be careful of is you don't want any buckling between these two, you know, so later when you're looking at your boot cow, you don't wanna see a buckle, okay? So the importance of that is, is using a lot of clamps. And I actually, after I put one rivet in, when I'm going up, for example, I take this clamp off, I push it down really good here and here, and then I reclamp it here and here, making sure there's, it's absolutely tight between these two rivets. I'll put that rivet in, and then do the same thing. I'll take these two clamps loose, push it down with my hand, you know, here at the hole and in between, I'll just actually push up that way, clamp it while it's down, making sure it's all nice and flush and smooth. And as you're going, making sure that that little shim stays uh, inside like that. And then working your way all the way around to the top. And also, when I talk about we're gonna drill this out with a number 30 drill, we're gonna put flush rivets in. The uh, don't, and we're going to dimple it, okay? So when we dimple these, Remember, this is gonna be, all this here is gonna be seen. This is what you're gonna see on the outside of the airplane. So don't get carried away with a dimpler and go way down making a big bowl in here. You just wanna dimple it enough to where that rub, rivet head is flush, okay? That's all. So I usually say start at the bottom to test your dimpler and your setting. Make sure you, you know, that way you can put a uh, rivet in, head in. I'll take a straight edge and actually put it across after I've got a rivet in take a straight edge across here and then look and see how my head is set. Is it down flush with the sides or is it down too far? Okay, so I bring it back up so it's just flush. This is a part that you wanna make look really pretty, you know, across here. All right, so I'll be back later.